So in this video we will borrow a book from your local library and not using overdrive. For example here in Sweden we don't have overdrive support on many libraries. So my local library here does not support overdrive. But I will show you how you can borrow ebooks then read them on your Kobo ebook reader in this video. So let's start by going to my table cam. Here we have my table cam and here we have my Kobo Clara 2e. The first thing we need to do is to exit from, for example, uh, CoReader or any other software. You need to be in the official original Kobo software to borrow books. So let's go out from uh, CoReader exit exit like so now we will boot into the original kobo software again on this kobo clara 2e it will take a while the reason for you need to use the original software on your kobo device is that co-reader is not supported by adobe digital edition copyright system and every library book has drm protection so you need to have a device that supports adobe drm and the kobo air readers do that if you register them into adobe digital editions so now we have booted into the original software. We can now use Adobe DRM protected ebooks. So now we will uh, go to my desktop cam. We go to my desktop cam by choosing desktop here. Now we have, for example, here we have uh, Adobe Digital Editions. And hopefully you see Adobe Digital Editions. Here I have one book already borrowed that uh, I have seven days left to read. That is how Adobe Digital Edition looks like. And you will install this from Adobe's uh, website, Adobe Digital Edition software. Uh, you can install that on both Windows and Mac. But uh, after have installing that software, you need to have it started as this. And now you go to your web browser. Of course, you use Safari on a Mac, the only web browser you should use on a Mac. Uh, now we want to surf to your local library. Here you see my library in my hometown. And you need to be logged in to your account at that library. So you need to have an active loan card at that library. With that loan card, you get a PIN code that you log into in this website. So you can be in any town actually and log into your library with your library card settings. So now I have been logged in as you see. And here we have the library at my hometown. Here I can choose to search for books or I can go to my pages to see my lists of books I want to read. So let's do that. We have my list here. And here we have my list of books I want to read. This library is sometimes very slow, so it takes uh, ages sometimes to uh, browse uh, their web pages and so on. But here we have some books I want to read. And I want to borrow a book from Tess Gerritsen. I have read it, the, this book, but we instead of searching, I click on that book because then I can see other books of the same author. It takes a very long time as you see. Here we have that book. I've already read that. But down here we can see all the other books. So I think it's this book I want to read this time. The first book of Tess Gerritsen. 
think this is the first book. So, if I want to borrow this book, I scroll down here and choose Borrow, Download, EPUB, as you see there. So now when I click on that, it will download a DRM protected file. Now it's downloaded. So now if I go to my Finder app, you see a URL link ACSM file there. This is a DRM protected book uh, from Adobe Digital Rights Management. So this is not a book, it's a link, but you need to open that in Adobe Digital Editions. So we double click on that. And now it will be added into Adobe Digital Edition. As you see there, now I can read this book actually directly in Adobe Digital Edition if I want. But I don't want that. I want to read that on my Kobo Clara 2e. So we go back here. Here we have the book now. So now if we go back to the table cam, here we have the table cam. Now we need to plug in the Kobo Clara 2e or any other Kobo e-reader actually that supports Adobe Digital Editions, DRM protected ebooks. So now I need to plug this in by doing that into my computer and choose connect here, as you see here, connect to my computer. Now it's connected to my computer. Now we go back to my desktop cam and go back to my finder, no, sorry, my Adobe Digital Editions. Here we have Adobe Digital Editions and here we have my Kobo device. Hopefully you can see this. It's uh, probably quite small maybe, but here it says Kobo, it's my device. So now if I drag and drop this file, this ebook that I just borrowed from my local library to my ebook reader, like so, now I have actually added that book that I borrowed from my local library to my Kobo Clara 2e. So if we go back to my table cam now, here we have my table cam again. Now we need to unplug this ebook reader, but first you need to choose to unplug it from your computer. So. Sorry, we go back to my desktop cam and here we need to unplug it by clicking unplug. Now we can go back to table cam. After we have unplugged it from your computer, you need to unplug the cable from your ebook reader by doing so. This could take a really long time sometimes. Uh, the Kobo Clara 2e has uh, a bug actually because my Kobo Clara H2O is much faster when disconnecting the cable. But the Kobo Clara 2e takes very long time before it feels that it's unplugged from the computer and so on. But soon it will feel <laughs> that the cable is not there anymore and then it will load up the software again with the new book that you just added from Adobe Digital Editions software. Like so, now you see it's importing the content and here we will soon see the book that I just bought, as you see there. So now if I click on that book, uh, I can actually read this book immediately on my Kobo Clara 2e. Oh, <laughs> very huge text. Uh, sorry for that, but uh, we can do a smaller text by doing that, like so. 
So now we can read this as any book exactly the same way that you read books with the original Kobo software. That is what I wanted to show you in this video. It's very easy to borrow books from your local library by doing this. Just install Adobe Digital Edition software on your computer and register your Kobo ebook reader to Adobe Digital Editions. And after that, you have registered and are logged in to Adobe Digital Editions with your account. Then you can borrow any book from your local library as easy as I did. Just browse and surf to your local library's web page and borrow ebooks from there. And do the exact same thing as I did in this video. It's so easy to borrow ebooks from your local library and read them on your ebook reader from Kobo. This doesn't work on Kindle devices here in Sweden because Kindle doesn't support Adobe Digital Editions here in Sweden uh, when borrowing books from libraries. You need to use Overdrive or something or Libby in US for example. But here in Sweden we can't use Libby or Overdrive or, or so on uh, many libraries. Maybe Overdrive works in the biggest libraries here in Sweden in Stockholm, Malmö, Göteborg. Maybe, I don't know, but I don't live in those towns. I don't have a library card in those towns, so I need to use my local library and this is the way to go for me and it works great actually. So this is the way for me to get library books and read them very easily on my Kobo ebook readers. So that's it for this video. Please like it. Okay, bye.